Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Sharpen node. And this is another DaVinci Resolve node available within Fusion. And it is studio version only. So let's go ahead and add the Sharpen node. And we all know what a Sharpen node is for. But the DaVinci Resolve version of the Sharpen node kind of allows you to separate your detail levels. And uh, let's go ahead and bring one in so I can show you. So I'm going to bring in a sharpen and remember we had sharpen with infusion that had the S H R P shorthand that we've already gone over, but we're going to use the sharpen without any shorthand. So let's go ahead and bring that in and we're going to look at our node here. <laughs> and uh, this motto would probably kill me if she saw this because uh, it can uh, bring out some pretty nasty stuff in models. So <laughs> you want to use this sparingly, but, uh, I'll show you how to mask it off and do things like add a little uh, sharpening to her hair and leave her face alone. But for now, we're going to uh, look at what this node does. So I kind of want to make it a little extreme. So the sharpen amount is exactly that, how much you want to sharpen. And underneath, we have detail levels. So this is where we can separate the fine, the medium, and the large details within our sharpening. Now the fine detail size sets your threshold for what's considered fine details. So the lower means the smaller the details have to be to be considered fine and the larger, that means they're larger. And a default of 0 0.05 is pretty good, but just know as we start bringing these down, anything we have within our medium and large details will be changed. So meaning if I bring up our large details and I start bringing down our fine details, you can see it's changing the look of our sharpening. So as you dial these in and change your sizes, make sure you're going back and forth to get the look you want because it's going to change as you change each one of these detail levels. So under fine details, this is uh, things like your skin pores in small speckles and textures on surfaces. This is what's considered fine details. So as I raise it, you can start seeing like the pores of her skin are getting sharper. Our medium details level are things like uh, clusters of hair and uh, larger surface details like wrinkles and freckles. And our large details are larger details. And these are things like eyelids. You can start seeing uh, our eyelids are getting a little sharper. And shadows in larger clusters of hair. So this is what's considered large details. And underneath we have sharpen chroma, which is going to separately sharpen your chroma without touching your Luma channel. So you can see as I sharpen it, we get more coloring, sharpness coming in at different places. And that's actually giving us speckles. And if I uh, raise this up a little bit, you'll be able to see it a little more. So as I bring that down and bring it up, you can see those color sharpening coming in from that sharpened chroma. So if we wanted to use this properly, let me go ahead and reset that. And uh, let's fit this. And so our model doesn't get upset about bringing out all her pores when we're trying to just sharpen her hair a little bit. We could uh, say add a bitmap. And on our bitmap, we could uh, select our luminance and we're going to invert it. And we're just going to bring in her hair and try to get some of that stuff out of her face. We'll leave her eyelids and her eyebrows. We'll sharpen that up a little bit bring some of those shadows back out and we can take this bitmap and on our sharpen node, we can just input this into our mask. So now we're just sharpening these areas. So now we can go into our sharpen node and uh, we can crank it up as much as we want without affecting our face as much. So now we can dial something in to sharpen our hair up. And uh, we can change our large details. And uh, there we go. We've got a little sharper hair look. So that is the sharpen node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.